Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today we're going to come from Ephesians chapter 1. And I'm reminded of what Paul thought about when he thought about his brothers and sisters in Christ and what he had to say about them in particular right here. And I just want to read this to us and then we'll come back and discuss this. In Ephesians chapter 1, uh, reading now verses, uh, picking up now uh, at uh, verse, do, 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 do. let's pick it up verse 15. It says, Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and the love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of the calling, and what the riches and the glory of the inheritance of the saints, and what is the exceeding, pre 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 uh, exceeding greatness of his power toward usward, who believe according to the working of the mighty power. Now I'm going to pause there. So here Paul now has heard about his brothers and sisters in Christ here at the church of Ephesus, and basically, and hearing about them, hearing about their faith and their love towards everyone, and how they're treating each other, he says, listen, I don't stop, to, I, I don't quit praying for you. I don't stop making mention of you in my prayers. I think about you all the time. And I think about this in light of, and then he goes on and says, why? Why do I think about you? That you might actually continue, not only in that path, but also to grow in the wisdom and the knowledge of our Savior, Jesus Christ, that you might understand the hope and the glory and the inheritance that waits us, that you may kind of come to the full revelation of what really this is all about. And I think this reminds me so well of our own lives, our own churches, our own uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Think about those who you fellowship with, those who you go to church with, those who you know, who you love, and think about them uh, and, and, and pray for them. Don't cease to make mention of them in your prayers. Not only that they may grow, but you may grow, but also that we all may, may grow together, be knit together. So we can all have that same hope, that same that same just excitement about Jesus Christ and the revelation of who he is and, and the wisdom and the knowledge that comes through knowing him. And all this comes by what? By God, by our fellowship together, by our having faith together, by our walking together, by our being together, right? And that we might know, I love this, that I want to close this one. The, and the, what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us, Lord, who believe according to the working of, the mighty, of his mighty power. Remember how powerful our God is. Sometimes the enemy will try to take us away from each other so we can we forget how powerful our God is, how amazing he is to us, and how loving he is to us, and the fact that he even just gave us brothers and sisters in Christ. So I hope this encourages you today. Just kind of remember your walk with him. Stay with him. Walk with him. Have that hope. Continue to pray for all those that you, know, that, that you fellowship with and, and others without, of course, too. But just make mention of them. Just Lord, to help them. Bless them today. Watch over them today. What a powerful ministry that really is. So I hope this encourages you today as it encouraged me. Remember, as always, that I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God got this.